And welcome back, friends. Hi, everybody. <laughs> welcome back to Silky Intuitive. I'm Nancy. What I've got for you today is a reading for my friends born under the sign of Pisces for October 7th through the 14th of 2017. If you're watching on YouTube, this is a general life reading. If you want love, I'm going to have that up at my Vimeo channel, uh, a focused reading on that week for love. Now, what I want to get for you guys is an oracle reading, one first from my oracle book, and it says you've rolled the dice. Double fives await a positive response from a most important person. So, Pisces. What kind of response are we waiting for? For some of you, uh, there may be something really big coming your way. Roll of the dice says it was a good roll. Positive response about an important issue or an important person. What's going on for you? Oh, my pages are turning, but that's all right. Now, the goddess guidance has the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. That's my air conditioner running. All right, here we go. So, Pisces, what's happening? For Pisces, next week, wow, okay. The Two of Cups, an attraction, a love situation. This is general life, please, let's try to stick to general life for Pisces, October 7th through 14th. The Ace of Swords is at the focus of your energy this week. Communications, open, honest, thoughtful, sometimes striking out. It's a quick response often with the Ace of Swords. So maybe you're waiting for a rapid response to come along around something, and some of it may be connected to a hobby, a skill, something more creative, but you may be making pro progress in your life in an artful situation too. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Art Schmart, we're talking about money here now. Art may be involved, but what we're really focusing on here is your well-being, your finances, your money, that kind of strength in your life, and maybe opening up new communications. Now, the Queen of Swords, she isn't always the best energy to work with, especially when you're talking about money, because she can be cruel, she can be hostile, and if she represents a real person, you better watch out because she can be cruel in her decisions where money is concerned. The sun. But now we have the sun coming up over the situation. So, maybe this is just you, Pisces, aggressively going after a situation. A situation that improves your money, situ uh, your money status, your financial well-being, and takes you maybe to a different level. It's all based around this new communication coming your way. And again, with double fives coming, you're rolling a very uh, rapid response from someone quite important here. And maybe she's represented here by the Queen of Swords. The Three of Wands. It's all about your personal growth and the direction you want. And like I said, you've got strength. There's strength building. You've got strength on your side with a satisfactory result coming up towards the end of the week. But what's this <laughs> with the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups. So maybe what we're talking about here with the big important news coming from someone uh, in a pretty rapid fashion it looks like. Even though the Knight of Pentacles represents the slow building speed to which something happens, you may get this news, this good news, from this important person uh, pretty quickly 
where it puts you in a position where you have to choose. And maybe you have to choose a new direction here, the Eight of Cups. Maybe you have to choose a new way of going about something to take advantage of this good news. But I think it could very, very well be about your position in life, your money status, where you stand uh, with security. Maybe you've uh, applied for a home loan and you're waiting for your mortgage to come through. Uh, possibly you've gone after a new job, a new life direction, a promotion from your company, and you're waiting this week for that response. Well, that response may put you in a position of having to walk away from something, yes, but when we're walking away from that something, we always know we're walking towards something better. We're walking towards a, 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 a leg up, a more positive way of going about our life. So I like it. I like it. We're making strides professionally. If you're changing things that haven't been satisfactory to you, now is the time to do it. Because the change is here. The growth is here. Feels like you're very strong and centered around what it is that you are working on here. Uh, and whatever improvement you're trying to bring into your life, the time is now for the growth. The Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, or no, the Knight of Swords, the Queen. I'm sorry, this is the Queen, Queen of Wands. She usually gets what it is that she wants, and maybe you've been <clears throat> in a period of non-movement and now this word coming that things are about to improve for you that feels like the release it feels like the mental release with the nine of swords we're trapped we're agonizing we're frustrated and with the queen or uh, the queen of wands and the daughter of swords who brings clarity and movement and certainty I think it's time to come out of wherever you've been restricted or restrained in your movement. Feels like the priestess or the queen of wands is saying it's time to move. This may be the time to orchestrate your plans and take the next step. But when you get this word, you may have to move on it quickly. You may have to make a decision almost on the spot for someone. The decision may be put upon you at the moment that it occurs. The daughter of discs. It's been a long time coming. If it's an advancement of some kind, if it's a new direction with your career, it's been a long time coming. The pace has been slow, but now action is being taken here and it improves your security, your foundation, your money flow. The Eight of Wands. Like I said, I think even though we've got several pentacles here, we're going to move along with something pretty quickly. The Eight of Wands. This is the offer coming and you accepting it or rejecting it, flat out. Whoever is speaking to whoever I'm referring to wants an answer, and they want an answer right there and then. The Three of Cups, a negotiation, a time to come together and work it out. Work out any frustrations, any situations that may be clouded, any things that are uncertain, these negotiation, negotiations bring a satisfactory result. So again, I really think you're going to get what you want out of this situation. I just reached for one more, so I'm taking it. Of course, the Ten of 
of the ten, the wheel of fortune. That's where we want you to be. That's where the happiness is. It's where the progress is made. And for someone who's dealing with us, it's your destiny. It's what you're meant to do. It's been put in place for you and that offer. For someone, it's a very quick offer where someone wants an immediate response. Are you in or are you out? And someone's going to want that answer right then and there. Are you going to take the chance? Are you going to go with destiny and say yes? Or are you going to fool with destiny? Are you going to play with destiny and try to put that off? I think an answer is going to be expected on the fly and you're going to have to be ready to give a very thoughtful and respective decision on the spot. Clearly on the spot now. So there you go. That's what I've got for you. Um, <clears throat> so you're ready to advance? All right. Now, let's talk about a little bit of business. If you want a reading meant just for you, reach out to me through my email address or look for the contact page over at my website. It's easy to find. You'll just tap on the little thing up in the... Uh, up in the corner that says contact form and you can get a hold of me through that or through my email address um, go ahead reach out to me we'll get an invoice going if you want a reading meant just for your concerns your life your journey your birth sign information all of that uh, gets taken into consideration during meditation and then I either give you your produced video, which is the most economical way to do it, but I think it's a permanent record so you can go back and refer to it. I find that phone readings go way too quickly and honestly, there's sometimes so much interaction that you don't really get a good clear reading. So, I really think I, I side with video, but that's me personally. I am doing live readings now, too. Reach out to me for either. I'll get back to you. And uh, now I'm going to go look at Love for Pisces. And until next time, Pisces, my friends, take care. Be well and peace.